Hello, baby Dan Dan Duncan here. I'm posting this blog today because I wanted to say how I have now been converted to Mormonism. I don't know if you've ever heard of a Mormon before, but I've always been agnostic, but I've had some slight tendencies toward Gnosticism. The problem is, is that there is this other church around called the LDS that are not Mormon, and not to be confused with the Mormon church. In fact, they think the Mormon church, the word Mormon, is a bad word. The irony is that the death of their most current prophet, Gordon B. Hinckley, ended up happening yesterday. And that made me search online, and I found this certain video that made me convinced that I found the only true church. They made a prophecy two months and two days ago that Gordon B. Hinckley would die and that Thomas, L. Mon Thomas S. Monson, their first counselor, will become the next LDS president of the church. Now, they have not ordained President Monson yet, and I guess if he is not ordained, then it will prove that the Mormon church is not true. But this group that I found online is at YouTube forward slash Mormon Magic, and I'll put a link up here. This group predicted two months ago that Gordon B. would die, and that he would be replaced by Thomas S. Monson. Now, the difference between the LOA, or the Latter-day Am Latter Order of Amun, versus the LDS, which is an ap apostolistic church, is that the LOA has marriages for homosexuals, they have the priesthood for the women, they're not prejudiced like the LDS, they don't believe that the mark of Cain was a black man, who believed that the mark of Cain was something to designate, to spare Cain's wife, to spare his wife, so that no one else would kill him. It's actually more of a thing against capital punishment. They're a really interesting group, and they have a hub here on YouTube, and they have some different hubs around, like I found a MySpace hub. But there are over 150 different Mormon groups that ended up coming to be after the LOA. The LOA, the Latter-day Order of Amun, is the first and only true Mormon church, and then everything else is a splinter group. That is, the current LDS group is a group, a splinter group, that ended up coming from a guy named Brigham Young, and they're called the Brighamites. And until yesterday, were called the Hinkleyites, and soon will then be called the Monsonites, but they do not have anything, anything to do with the LOA. They are a Gnostic Mormon church, the church that practices magic, um, sorcery, they use deep stones to scry with, they believe in building in other planets after this existence, and so they sell each other, they sell their best friends, they sell their lovers, they sell their children, they sell everything upon them in the temple so that they can have their own planet with all their own loved ones. And it has nothing to do with the LDS church. But this video, the death of Golden Boy Deacon Queen, is what converted me to the Mormon church. And I am now a Mormon. They let me practice certain forms of agnosticism. I don't have to believe everything. And they also said that I am automatically a Mormon, and that everybody in the whole world is really a Mormon, and they have to deny it to not be a Mormon. And even if they deny it, it's okay because there's room for everybody in their, in their philosophy and their no, the whole dogmatic system, so thank you for listening. I'll put up some posts for the Mag Magic Moment site. Enjoy! I'm Baby Dan Dan Pumpkin! Down with the LDS, up with the LOA. I love to see the temple, I'll go inside one day And feel the Holy Spirit, and listen and obey For the temple is a house of God, a place of love and beauty I'll prepare myself all in my youth This is my sacred duty Oh, and one last thing. The LOA, the Latter-day Order of Amun, believes in a metaphorical Jesus, and not in a historical Jesus, which I don't believe in a historical Jesus. But I do believe in a metaphorical Jesus that can be found in your wee little heart. That's all I have to say.